Hey curl friends, it's me, Naturally Sage. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure that y'all are subscribed and you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any curl content. I can promise weekly videos, but I can't promise at this time that they're always gonna be like at the same time during the day or even on the same day. Um, I just kinda like to go with the flow. So in today's video, I'm going to be you guessed it. I'm gonna be trimming my ends and I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how I decide which hairs to cut and how I'm gonna wear my hair for the actual cut. I will not take responsibility for anyone's mistakes, okay? I can only tell you what I know. You can take bits and pieces from that information, draw your own conclusions, and do your own thing, okay? There are tons of different ways to cut your hair. You can straighten it and cut it, blow it out and cut it so you can really see the ends. You could go get a cut from somebody. You could have somebody from home help you. I can't really explain it without going into large detail, but all I'm gonna say is that when I went into the salon, I didn't feel very good. I didn't have very great experiences. So when I decided to go natural, I didn't really want to go back to the salon. Like I didn't really want to have those experiences again. And then on top of it, if you've been natural for a while and never searched for a hairstylist that deals with natural hair, you probably know that the struggle is real. People say that they deal with natural hair all the time, but then you get to their website and you only see pictures of people with blowouts. Like, I hope you can blow hair out, you're a stylist. But I feel like it takes like a whole different set of skills to actually maintain natural hair and be able to style natural hair. So, at some, at about six months in, I realized like I was gonna have to either find somebody or learn how to do it myself. So, I decided to learn how to do it myself. I, in general, just want to be a self-sufficient person. Like, I don't want to ever rely on someone else for me to feel beautiful. That's why I learned how to wax my own eyebrows. I learned how to do my own nails. And I learned how to cut my own hair. So, let's get started. And let me tell you guys, like, a background of where my hair is right now. So I twisted my hair up about two days ago and for me part of what's important of this state of my hair is that it's dry because I think when I cut my hair when it's wet that I experience a lot of shrinkage so I don't know exactly where I'm cutting or exactly what my hair is going to look like dry so it's kind of just like a Russian roulette of like trying to figure out where to cut and what it's gonna look like dry because who knows So my hair is nice and dry. I installed these twists. I even twisted them around each other Just so see this is how you can tell like it's time to cut is that this is unraveling so much um, but I twisted the twist around each other so they would stay nice and compact. So the first thing that I'm gonna do here is just lightly separate some of these twists that I put together. I think that trimming your hair is a really important part of being natural and being able to retain that length. Right now, I'm just going in and kind of touching on every twist, making sure that my ends are coiled nice and tight so I can really see where it looks like I need a trim. Let me see if I have a good one. Once you get to the bottom, you can see that little part right here that needs to be trimmed. You can tell that your ends need to be trimmed by a couple different things. So your hair, first of all, 
just the overall state of your hair. If your hair is not feeling super healthy, it's not holding styles as well, and the ends feel drier, brittle. Another way you know it's time to trim your hair is when you run your fingers up and down your hair shaft, you can feel the number of bumps multiply. So it's normal that your hair has little bumps because those are the cuticles that we always talk about opening and closing, receiving moisture and whatnot. So that's normal to have cuticles on your hair. I'm going to try and actually put a little picture right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to do a damaged strand next to a healthy strand. So you should be able to kind of feel a lot of bumps towards the end and it's going to feel a little bit more dry, a little bit more brittle, and a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for, not silky. So for me, when I go down my entire strand, I can feel right when I get to about here that my ends just don't feel like the rest of my hair. So do you see where it gets like drastically thinner right here? You can see that right here, there's a lot of thinning happening. So that is exactly where I'm going to cut. That's exactly where I'm going to cut for this piece. I have a towel set down right in front of me on my desk and that is going to catch all the hair, hopefully. <laughs> I'm scared. Well, let's be honest, what am I not been scared? <laughs> Maybe I'm just a scary kid. Okay. Now, I just want to say this, like, I know you guys aren't silly, but I just want to say that you can watch this video and, and get some good ideas, but definitely, definitely, definitely still look up a bunch of information, do your research, watch more than one video because this is your hair. So it does grow back, which is beautiful. This is the first cut. There it is. Oh my gosh. Side note, when I did these twists, I did my part in the middle all the way back so I can mirror the sides and then I could kind of like look at each twist on each side and make sure that they were even. So these two, I said I was gonna start in the back. I'm sorry, I lied. I wanna see the first couple cuts. Okay. Good enough. Can you see that? Yeah. So there's my twist. You can see the fray right here. Woo! <laughs> scared. Scared, scared, scared. This is what the end looks like of that one. I'll show you guys all the ends when I'm done. They actually look really cute right now. <laughs> I... I do want to mention though, I did get my hair cut one time and if I can find a picture I'll show you guys right here um this girl that I went to was actually a 
friend of a girl that I knew in high school who I cheered with and she gave me this recommendation. I went just to see what was going on because I was, it was too early in my natural hair journey for me to like even think about cutting my hair. I could barely even do a two strand twist, but she really took care of me and she put me on to apple cider vinegar and it was just cool because my hometown doesn't have like any black people so it was cool to have a black woman cut my hair and for her to give me advice and for it to be great advice it was a great experience i know i said i didn't have many good ones but she was a great one i think her name was alex Alex, if you're watching this, thank you. I accidentally unraveled an actual twist, so just re-raveling that so I can see. It's just so tough because my hair in the back is naturally more healthy than the hair in the front. So... I don't need to cut it as much, but I don't want my hair to be like super uneven. I think we're done with one side. Can you see? What's wrong with me? Can you see? Oh, not that one. Missed one. You see how you can really tell the difference? The ends are flat. They don't come straight to a point. So here is the undone side. And here is the done side. See that? Picture perfect hell. This is just kind of one of those things that you might have to, you know, deal with a little bit of trial and error. And the beautiful thing about curly hair is that I feel like it can always be fixed. Ha! Ah, look how beautiful that was. Okay guys, I wanna take a reel. <laughs> Don't ask me why I put myself through torture daily. Hold up. In my opinion, there's no like perfect set time of how often you should trim your hair. You should just pay attention to your hair, like I said, and kind of feel the ends, feel up and down the hair shaft. And when you twist your hair, examine the ends, just kind of take stock of your hair and pay attention to what's going on. And your hair will tell you when it's time to trim your hair. But as a basic guideline, I try to trim my hair around every three or so months, depending again on how my hair is you know telling me what's going on so i hope you guys were able to follow along this video i tried to make it nice and short and nice and simple and not say too much because i don't want this process to be like this big whole long thing where you have to execute all these steps perfectly all you really have to do in my opinion is twist up your hair check out those ends and then when i unravel i'm gonna reevaluate once more look at the shape a little bit Okay, I think, I'm just spot checking right now, but I think I've done a pretty good job. I'm going to insert a picture of my hair before and after, just so you guys can see kind of what it looked like and how much came off. But I, I hope I made this video nice and simple for you guys. So if this is your first time cutting your hair, good luck and don't blame me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something new. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Naturally Sage.